Hi guys, I want to tell you, those of you that may be not a believer or maybe those of you that are believers that you made a mistake, I don't care what it was, maybe you had an affair, maybe you uh, cheated on your taxes, maybe you um, um, mistreated your kids, maybe you uh, fell out with the loved one, your mother, your father, brother, friend, whatever it is, maybe you uh, stole something at work, I don't know, maybe you... I don't know what you're thinking, what you thought, what you did last night, what you did last week, last month, last summer. I don't know. God knows everything. But I want you to know something. God is never mad at you. He's not mad at you. He knew before you did it that you would do it. That's why he paid for everything before you were ever put in this atmosphere. So don't ever think that no matter how bad or how big or how small the mistake that you made, it's not something that God cannot handle. Man may look at you and he may turn his nose up at you, he may walk away from you, he may condemn you, he may judge you, he may mistreat you, whatever, he may cast you out, but he's, guess what, he's not God. He can't put you in heaven or hell, he has nothing, he can't control your blessings, he's just another person, or he or she is just another person. But God is never mad at you, man will get mad at you, man will turn his back on you, man will turn away from you, he will lie on you, he will talk about you, he will scandalize your name. But it doesn't matter where you are, what you've ever done, no matter how low you think it was, how dirty you think it was, God is not mad at you and He was not mad at you ever. He's only mad at Satan, the one who tries to influence you to do something bad or wrong or that's disobedient. God is never ever mad at you. You are His child. He created you. I don't care what you got into. I don't care what it was. As long as you can say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, I surrender. I'm asking you to forgive me, Lord. And, it's, and, and those of you that are not believers, you just ask Him into your life. Lord, I receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. And I will follow you. Thank you for saving me. And those of you that are believers, He doesn't condemn you. There is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. All He wants you to do is just come back and just say, Lord, you know what? I was wrong. I'm asking you to forgive me. He's already forgiven you, but He likes the fact that you know how to come to Him. Just like when you go to your spouse or your kids or anybody that you have done anything wrong to, they may not cast you out, but you still go back to them and say, you know what? What I said to you was wrong. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? It's the, that's what love does. It's what relationship does. And so when no matter what you've done, God is never mad at you. He's just waiting for you to come to Him in your conversation, in your prayer time or whatever. It doesn't matter where you are. You don't have to come with Him with some big rendition of anything. All He needs you to do is come to Him with a pure heart and, and a, a really truthful heart and say, Lord, you know what, Lord? I was wrong. Don't be like Adam and Eve and, and try to point the blame. Satan didn't make you do it. The devil can never make you do it. Uh, he can only try to lead you to it. But He's not. He only has power to... to um, suggest it. He only has power if you believe it and follow that. And God needs you to believe Him. And He wants you to know today that He's never mad at you. He loves you so much that He gave His life for you. And all He wants for you to do is stay in relationship with Him. Stay close to Him. Never think that you should be ashamed to come to Him. He's always right here. He's never there. He's always right here. Right where you are. He was there when you made the mistake and He was there saying, Child, I'm here. Just let me know. Come to me. And I want to, I want to, I've already redeemed you from that. And I want to lift up your hung down head. I'm here to restore you no matter what it is. So no matter what it is, talk to him today. There's only one order in the world, guys. And that's God's order. And that is the true world order. I love you. But God loves you more. God's excited about your future. And so am I. Everything is about relationship. Build them wealth.